What's up guys, uh, Riz from Riz Tech Gaming here. Uh, just going with a quick kind of overview, somewhat tutorial of, uh, at the request of Aman Buabidi. Uh, he requested that I do a tutorial on the reloading system that I implemented in uh, my third person movement animation. So this was fairly simple to set up. Um, the assets that I'm using for this are a character that I've created in Blender. Uh, as well as an AK that I've created in Blender. Now, the important thing for this setup is that the mag and the AK are actually separate items, or separate uh, actors, sorry. And your AK should have a socket uh, that your mag can attach to, be spawned into, etc., etc. All right, so we'll jump on over into the project file, and I will try to break down what I've done here, and hopefully uh, you guys are able to set this up and implement it in your own projects. Alright, so I'll just take a look at what we have here. Alright. So let's take a look. Now this is a test uh, project file, so ignore a lot of the mess of code that is going on inside of here. Um, all we are going to be looking for is, let's see, where's my reload? So here, uh, I have an input uh, mapping setup for reload, which for me is the R key by default. Uh, on press, we're setting down, and on release, we're releasing, or setting that the reload button is not down. Now, inside the animation blueprint, this is where most of the work is going on. So, the general concept is when he reaches up and grabs the mag that's currently in the gun. This is in a, a, an animation montage. We are, I'm, I have an animation notify set up called grab used. Now that is firing off and the mag inside the gun is being detached from the component, which is the AK. It is then being attached to another socket in my character's left hand. The important thing to notice here is that when detaching, we are keeping world, and when attaching, we're snapping to target. Now there is another animation notify, and I'll go through the actual reloading animation montage so you can see these notifies and where they happen. The other animation notifies drop uses when the character releases his hand and drops the mag. So at this point, we are detaching from the component yet again, this time detaching from the character mesh. We are keeping our world location, and then we're setting the mag. Now the important thing is that we're storing that variable uh, inside of our gun, because without storing the variable of our current mag, we're unable to actually uh, call these settings after the fact. All right, so we're setting simulate physics, very simple, as long as we have simple collision setup or uh, complex collision setup for the, the static mesh, you should be good to go on that. And once that's done, we are clearing this variable, this current mag variable, because we're going to need to spawn a new mag, and then we're going to have to do some stuff with it down here. So inside the animation, we get a new notify, anima, anim notify grab new. Uh, and at this point, I'm calling a function on the BP character. Uh, sorry, actually, no, it's right here. Uh, it's in the char anim, my bad. Uh, all we're doing is we're spawning the mag, uh, a new mag, just making a default transform, and then we're attaching it to the left-hand socket again, snap to target, and we are now setting the variable inside the current gun. We're setting that new current mag variable. Important part here is we pass it back out. So that we can then, on the load notify, which is when the character's hand places the mag in the gun, we can then detach from the uh, character mesh component and then attach finally to the gun component in the mag socket. Seems confusing, it's a lot of stuff going on, but when you think about it logically, it makes sense. So now let's take a look at the uh, animation, or it's the, the animation montage here. So reloading all right so in here I have a play sound notify 
that I've just synced up so that the sound of the reloading is synced up to the animation that we're seeing. And then as the animation goes through, you can see right here when his hand grips the mag, right there we're grabbing used. And we bring our hand down, drop the used. At this point, we've detached. So here, so we'll go through and this is, this is what's happening inside the blueprint. So at this point, the mag is in the gun. At this notify, we're detaching from the gun and attaching to the hand. On this animation notify, we're detaching from the hand and turning on simulate physics. At this animation notify, we are spawning a new mag in the hand, attaching it to the hand. At this notify, we are detaching from the hand and attaching it to the gun. Now this part is optional, but for most game functionality, uh, one thing that you're going to run into is canceling your reload by switching guns or doing another action. I think for, this is just personal preference, but for me, I like to complete the player reload when he actually chambers the, the gun itself. I know that is literally irrelevant to this tutorial, but just a little kind of tidbit of information there. Just keep that in mind, set up your notifies inside of your animation, and that's just going to keep all of your code running in sync. Notifies are extremely simple to set up. Simply scrub to the timeline or to the spot in the timeline that you want to put in the notify. Right click on this notify bar and add your notify. Give it a name. All right. Just to give you an idea of what these uh, meshes and components look like themselves, uh, let's go ahead and open up my gun blue. Um, yeah, no magic going on here. Uh, basically just buying ourselves a mag, attaching it to the AK-47 on begin play. And that's whenever we spawn the gun in our, in our hand. This is our mesh. We have the mag socket. Uh, I've just attached the socket to the rear of the gun. And yeah, I've attached the socket to the root of the gun and then added the preview mesh of the mag so that I could see it and then scaled and rotated so that I could get it fitting in there just right. Uh, once I get a little bit better at modeling, uh, in Blender and getting better at my exporting to Unreal process, uh, I am potentially going to start uh, a Patreon page for my assets uh, so that you can use them to follow along with tutorials in the future. Uh, so hopefully this was able to help some people. I know I didn't go into depth and it was not a, uh, a follow along tutorial in that sense. Uh, but I've been pretty busy with other projects and just haven't had much time to sit down and uh, and write out a food full tutorial for it as it's kind of something that I just threw together. Um, I wouldn't recommend using this reloading system as a final product. Uh, me and my team have greatly tweaked uh, its implementation uh, inside of our actual game project. Uh, but hopefully it's something that can at least kind of get you started and going in the right direction. Gets you set up for understanding how something like this might work a little bit better and incorporating it into your own projects and your own games. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any comments and suggestions in the comment section below. And until next time.